Hi, Steve here with another video, and in this video we're going to look at using the online JSON editor. And you can see I've got the editor open here, and you can see here's the URL, and I'll put a link to that URL in the video description. Now, to illustrate this, I'm going to use the problem from the workbook, and this is the problem we're going to look at. And what we're going to do is going to create a JSON string with three objects, which are, sorry, an array of three objects. And these are the objects, and this is uh, object one, and we can see it's a name, a date of birth, and an age, and object two, again, name, date of birth, age, and same with object three. So we're going to create an array of three objects with this data in them. So if I go to the JSON editor, you can see I've actually got two windows here and what I can do is I can copy between both windows. I don't know why there are actually two windows, so you only really need to use one. Uh, if anyone does know the reason, then please put a comment below. But I'm just going to use this one window here. And to create a new document, we just click on this, open an empty document. And we've got two views on this. We've got a code view, which is this one here. We've got a tree view which is this one here. Now I find it easy to start in the code view and what I'm going to do is create the basic outline in the code view and what we're going to have is an array and inside the array we're going to have three objects so I'm just going to put the objects in there. So there's an array of three objects and if I look at that in the tree view it looks like this. Now I could just carry on in the code view and I could enter the data here and I just have to go and remind myself what it is. So let's do the first one here. We're going to go John, date of birth and age. So the name is John, date of birth is the first of the first 2000 and the age is 20. So we just go name here and remember we have to put quotes and a comma and the date of birth you can see here if I've made a mistake you get the red cross here so let me just correct it and it goes away. So that's valid JSON now. And if I go look at it in the tree view, we can see there's object one. Now, I had to remember to put the quotes around it and everything else when I was in the code view. If I go into the tree view, it's a bit easier. So I just going to do uh, object number two. So I click on here, it's an empty object. Okay, to add data to this empty object, I click here on this box here and I, I'm going to append and I'm going to go for an auto. And you can see it's given me a field and a value, so I type in the age here and I use the tab button. Oh, sorry, it's the name, not the age. And it's Jim. And use the tab button again and I'm going to append again auto and I got a field and a value and this time it is date of birth and a tab again um, 21st of the second 1990 if I remember correctly and tab again now if I go back and look at that in the code view, you can see it's filling it out here and notice it's putting quotes in there so I don't have to worry about the quotes. So let's go back to the tree view and let's add the final one, append, and it's the age, FMS 30. And finishing off with a tab and look at the code, you can see it here. And I'm just going to finish off the, the last one and I'm going back to the tree view for that again. And I'm going to add append type auto name. 
A few other buttons you should be aware of here that this one here will compact the data and this one expands the data back into there. Uh, you can also sort the contents based on any of these fields here so I can sort it based on age, date of birth and, and name and it shows me here I've actually got two names so I've actually made a mistake and I can see it here this one's got a lowercase and this one these two have got uppercase so I need to go and change these so they're uppercase. And this one is a repair tool, so if there's problems with this, you can repair it. It says it removes, uh, well, it uh, fixes uh, quote problems and escape characters. And this one offers more powerful sort uh, features, and uh, I must confess I haven't used this. And of course, the obvious thing here, we can save our, our document and we can retrieve our document here using these icons here. Okay, so it's a quick overview of how to use the JSON editor. Uh, as I say, I tend to start off in the code view and do the outline and then I go to the tree view to to finish it off. It's easy because you don't have to remember to put in the uh, quotes around all, around all the characters. It does it for you. Now this video is actually part of the workbook on, on JSON and JavaScript that I've put together and is available on the site and I'll put a link in the video below. So that's the end of the video. If you've got any comments on the video, then please leave them below. If you like the video, then please click on the like button below. And if you want to get notified of new videos on the channel, then click on the subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell to get notified. So until next time, goodbye.